Sulang okay. Greg and Tutau uh, Palau, good morning. Uh, it's John Hennessy Nyland. I'm the U.S. Ambassador. It's an honor, truly, to be uh, the first ambassador uh, on Palau Rave Radio. So thank you for, for hosting us. And I'm excited to talk about Veterans Day here in Palau. It's going to be November 11th, uh, next Wednesday. And I thought it'd be best now to uh, introduce the rest of the team here from the embassy. Good morning, Palau. Uh, my name is Major Gamble C. I am the Task Force Oceania uh, Military Liaison to the U.S. Embassy and uh, feel really privileged to be here uh, with the Veterans Association, the Ambassador, and also my teammate who will introduce herself now, Ms. Long. This is uh, Sergeant Florence Yangelmao. Thank you for having me here. I am very honored to be invited as a guest and thank you again. Okay, Salvador Mungagi Ulmagi Artiang, Agi Mla, a developer, I got a programmer, a Veterans Day, which is uh, like the ambassador said, uh, next uh, Wednesday. And uh, Veterans Day is the 11th day of the 11th month, uh, and it's celebrated uh, every year. Uh, the past, we've uh, 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 celebrated this day by having barbecue at the, the bridge, but this time, uh, with the ambassador's initiative and help, uh, the, uh, the program has uh, grown uh, uh, to such a degree that I think it merits uh, the ambassador uh, to uh, explain what uh, we have. Uh, Thank you. Um, yes, and, and I really, really do appreciate the opportunity to be speaking on the radio uh, to the people of Palau about Veterans Day. And I'd like to start by thanking all the veterans here in Palau. Uh, who've served in the U.S. military. Um, people may not know that um, on a per capita basis, uh, Palau may be a small country, but it's a large contributor of people uh, to the U.S. military, uh, many of them who've given their lives. Um, and Veterans Day is, an, is a moment where we reflect and remember uh, on that sacrifice and that service. So on November 11, uh, we, have ha we have a number of activities planned this year in honor of the veterans from Palau. The first is uh, about 8 a.m. in the morning. Uh, a number of us will be going to the grave sites of what we of call uh, the Gold Star families. Uh, what that means is that that person gave the ultimate sacrifice um, and died in the service of, of the U.S. military. Um, and there are a number of those uh, families who've lost one. And we will be going to those grave sites and, and paying our respects and speaking with the families. And that's the appropriate way uh, to begin the morning. Um, and that will be sort of a private event with the families uh, who've lost a son um, in, in the course of their service. And then uh, at 11 a.m., give or take a minute or two, um, and this is something I think the people of Palau will remember from Independence Day, we're going to have a flyover. Uh, yeah, it's going to be exciting. Uh, we're going to have a B-1 bomber and two F-22 fighter jets that will fly over uh, Palau, fly over Karor, 
That'll be about 11 a.m. on Wednesday, November 11th. So please, please right. get out. Um, it's about lunchtime. So take the time to get out into the streets, and you'll see a fairly uh, amazing demonstration of uh, the U.S. Air Force and its capability, another sign of the support of the United States for Palau. And right after the flyover, that's going to be the signal to kick off a parade. Oh. And the parade is going to go downtown Karor, uh, and it will be uh, hopefully a very happy event. Uh, a lot of participation from the various states of Palau and the various organizations, and another way to recognize uh, the veterans. Um, and, and we hope to have great participation. And if any listeners are out there who may want to participate uh, in the parade, please, please get in touch either with uh, the Veterans Organization or with the U.S. Embassy. We'd welcome a lot of participation in that parade. It's a way for all of us uh, mm -hmm. to celebrate Veterans Day. And then lastly, that evening, um, we're going to have a ball. Um, think of like a high school formal. We're going to have a fancy dinner um, over at PRR. And that's going to be a fundraiser for the Veterans Organization. Um, half the price, half the cost of the ticket is going to go directly to the Veterans Organization. It's tax deductible too, and I know that matters to people. Um, so half the price is going to uh, uh, pay for the costs of the organization and the, make the organization that much more able to help veterans in need here in Palau. Uh, and it also should be a good party, um, mm. an appropriate way uh, to celebrate uh, the veterans from Palau. That will be a PRR. Uh, that will kick off around 6 p.m. And we're selling tickets. We have more tickets for sale. So if you want to buy a ticket, please, please do. It'll be a great night. And again, you can contact either Greg or myself, and we'll give you the details. So that's Veterans Day here in Karor. Um, I know it's a big day. Um, and we're trying to make it appropriately big in terms of everything that we're doing to celebrate uh, veterans uh, here in this great country. So thank you. Yeah, veterans, uh, government, mm -hmm. semi government agencies, a day off. Uh, the seals with pay. As he did last year at our request. Uh, so uh, that request uh, had gone in. I understand uh, from uh, uh, the office of the president that uh, it's uh, viewed uh, uh, very well and that it might, it, it's likely to be signed. I give you a request to the president to declare the Wednesday, Veterans Day, public holiday. I understand that uh, last uh, Tuesday they uh, were declaring a public holiday for voting and they had a special day for mm. uh, our veterans. Uh, as you know, uh, our veterans will serve a military marigue and the way our military will be able to protect our veterans. I'm going to say that I'm not 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 going to president <laughs> 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 Seguida de Salva de Edwin Mora, Galvaldo, a ambassador, eh, you want to say something, uh, Major? Sure, absolutely. Did uh, you understand what I was saying? Yeah. <laughs> 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 anyway, maybe, maybe, uh, say a few yeah. things that you already said, but uh, in, in my first language, in English. Yeah. Um, Ambassador's already kind of run down um, all the, the, the main events for that day. Uh, I, I just wanted to uh, chime in a little bit about the flyover because that's something I've, I've um, put in a little bit of time on uh, trying to coordinate, um, get the support. And it, it really says something to have um, this type of aircraft, B-1, uh, F-22s, uh, coming coming all the way out here because we're, we're on the far west of the Pacific, and for them to make that trip, it, it really highlights uh, 
that the U.S. is willing to invest and show its support for Palau and um, to send, I mean, to, to do a flyover is actually pretty expensive, yeah. uh, but for them to be willing to show support, show support for uh, Palau and veterans, uh, American veterans that are here as well, um, is, is really a, quite a statement that I think is important for people to see. And um, I really encourage folks, uh, I mean, hopefully uh, there will be a way for people to get out and support their uh, veteran family members and friends uh, to see the whole parade. Um, uh, but e even if they can just get out at, you know, 1050, just before 11, line the streets and, and look up. Uh, open their ears, listen for the rumble. Uh, it'll be coming coming in the sky um, to see uh, this awesome spectacle and and just to know that it's, hey, the U.S. is is the partner of Palau and um, we have each other's backs, um, both with Palau providing access to the U.S. and the U.S. being there to uh, stand beside Palau. So uh, I'm really excited about the flyover. If you can't tell, um, I, I think I think the parade is going to be great too. Because as soon as the flyover is over, I'm going to be you know coming down off the roof uh, from talking with the planes, uh, hoping to get a, a front row seat of that or, or find a way to jump on somebody's car uh, to go down the down the street in that. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, and of course the ball, but uh, I'll, I'll let uh, Sergeant Yangle will jump in because I know she's spent a little little bit of time uh, working on the parade itself. Maybe she has a few comments there. Hi, good morning again. Um, I just wanted to stress the importance of Veterans Day. We have about 143 veterans here in Palau and possibly 600 more in the United States. Um, the 140 are the accounted for veterans that signed up for the program, but we have some unaccounted for here that we would like you guys to come over to PCC's office and sign up. We need numbers, and if you could please come and sign up, we can show uh, the U.S. that we have more than 140 people here, and that would enable us to assist with all the issues that we have here in Palau, which brings up uh, Veterans Day events. Um, because it's so important, we would like the rest of the Palauans to come out and show their support for what, what they have gone through. All the veterans here, they do need, they need that support. They need people to recognize them and say, hey, thank you for your service. So in a way to honor what they've done and what they've been through, come on out and say, hey, we see hmm. you. And, you know, we, we're going to celebrate this day with you. So that's, that's really important about Veterans Day here. And, yes, it's, it's a U.S holiday but it's really not it's it's people who served and there's a lot of us here and i'm telling you it might be more than 200 people here yeah. um so come out show your support and if you're if you know a veteran ask them to come and join in and march with us just to show people that we are here and we're here to stay and that's all i have to say well, and how about you talk a little bit about the parade and what's going to make <clears throat> up the parades i think people in palau be interested to see right after the flyover and the planes what are they going to see downtown in Corora? uh we have uh, the parade is going to start at the Corora council of chiefs and mm -hmm. and at the um Erungul park mm -hmm. uh, i think it's global village right now yeah. and we're going to have a uh, number of uh personnel involved we have uh the Bureau of Public Safety, who will be up front carrying the U.S. flag and Palau flag with two escorts. Then we're going to have uh, uh, five veterans carrying the uh, the military-affiliated flags, which is the Air Force, Army, Marines, Marines Coast Guard. And then yeah. followed by all of the, uh, the veterans. And uh, right now we are working with uh, inviting some of the the states to participate and show some support. Uh, most importantly, we have the uh, Gold Star family members, which is family members who have their sons or daughters, husbands and wives who, who died during the conflict up in Iraq and Afghanistan, as well as Vietnam. Uh, we also have uh, all the first responders, uh, like the ambulance, the police, and the fire truck. Uh, mental health uh, decided to yeah. join in. Uh, we're still working on adding more personnel, and again, like the ambassador said, if you would like to participate, please feel free to contact us, and then we'll add you into the parade. Come out, show your support, and uh, let's have fun uh, during the parade. And, and I hope uh, this 
it, this is a plug for Palau's Motorcycle Club, but uh, yeah. it would be great to have a few Harleys out there uh, at the back of the parade. They're noisy. Um, they're great. I see them every Sunday uh, riding around the compact road in Palau, so we'd hope to have the Motorcycle Club uh, be part of that. And if anyone who owns some classic American cars, uh, it'd be great to have some, some classic American cars or convertibles out in the parade too. So if you're interested in helping out and being part of the, the uh, parade, definitely, definitely get in touch with us. And, and that's something that's uh, worth mentioning. As far as uh, us looking for more people to participate, I, I know uh, back home and, and possibly here as well, sometimes people wonder, how can I show my support? I mean, sometimes it's a, you know, a simple thank you for your service uh, or sh shaking somebody's hand. Um, but Veterans Day is really a great opportunity to, to show that support. Um, and one way is participating in the parade or coming out to watch it, uh, looking up in the sky to see the flyover. Uh, it's something tangible and it's a way to give something that's really important to everybody, which is a little bit of your time. Um, and if you have talent, whether it's dance or song or something like that, and you wanted to participate as well, um, we're certainly uh, have a few, a few spots left that um, we could uh, find a way to uh, include an additional uh, participant in the parade and again it's it's just a way of uh, showing your 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 thanks to uh, your your Palauan uh, friends and family that have served and and that's that's something that you know as we do this parade jointly you know it's it's Palau and the US together as partners and uh, as a, a service member I, I know that as soon as I hear that somebody here is like oh you served you served in the army or the Marines or whichever service it's there's an immediate uh, brother or sisterhood because we we have, even if uh, you know our our, our homeland is uh, a different flag, we served under the same flag for for a common purpose and you know defense of the same ideals of, of freedom and democracy. And so, I think it's a great opportunity for people to uh, do their part. And speaking of people doing their part, I just want to talk a little bit about the last event, which is the ball, the gala, uh, the the, the uh, formal. Uh, conclusion to the day on Veterans Day next Wednesday November 11th as I said it will take place uh, at 6 p.m. over at the Palau Royal Resort at PRR and let me talk a little bit about that because that is the fundraiser uh, mm. for the veterans organization uh, tickets are hundred dollars each but remember this um, half of that fifty dollars is going to go to the Palau veterans organization and it's also tax deductible um, this is going to be the way we raise money um, in a meaningful way. Thank and help the veterans organization here in Palau. We have 150 tickets for sale. Um, I think we're about 80 or 90 tickets sold, so there's still some tickets left. Um, if we make that number, 150, it'll be about $7,500 for the uh, veterans organization. With that sort of assistance, they can provide uh, funding and, and other types of, of, of help to veterans here in need. Um, you know, typically it's hard for veterans to get to Guam for treatment, uh, to bring people in here, doctors and, and others. Uh, this is a way to help uh, make that happen because uh, the needs are real. Um, these veterans ha have seen a lot. I've gone through some terrible days. Um, and, and it affects people, and, and it's appropriate that they get the help uh, that they need, and their families too. And so the fundraiser is a big part of this. Um, and also, also um, in its appropriate way to finish the day, um, we'll all dress up a little bit, uh, we'll have a nice time, we'll listen to some great Palauan music, uh, and, and uh, we'll finish uh, Veterans Day. And, and I wanna mention, um, you know, I thought I might be asked a question about the compact or some of the politics around the U.S. And, and Palau. But the most important thing is that we care deeply about the security and the defense of Palau. Palauans have served in our military to defend not just the United States, but also democracy and liberty here in Palau and across the world. And that's something mm -hmm. worth remembering next Wednesday on Veterans Day, November 11th. Ambassador, some uh, people are asking if the parents of the who have sons and daughters in the military can join the parade, and how do they? Uh, Very much so, and we'd welcome that. And actually, we're trying to appropriately honor, particularly those Gold Star families, those who've lost a son or daughter or father or husband or wife. Um, they can either get in touch with Greg at the, the Veterans Organization or to Flo uh, at the Embassy. Um, they can go on our Facebook. Uh, they can go on our web page. Um, and actually, I can give you some numbers right now, uh, if that helps. 
Um, what you should do if you're interested in joining the parade or in any way um, being uh, part of the Veterans Day activities, um, you can talk to Greg. His number at the U.S. Armed Forces Veterans Association of Palau is the following, 778-6188. I'll repeat that, 778-6188. Or you can contact Arlene at the U.S. Embassy. Mm. She's one of our great local staff. And her number is 587-2920, extension 2025. I'll repeat, 587-2920, extension 2025. Or simply call the U.S. Embassy and ask to speak to Arlene, or any of us really, and we'll make sure that you're part of the uh, Veterans Day events, including the parade. Mm. Can you explain again about uh, about uh, the B-1 bomber that's going to fly? Is it only one, or is there any other plane uh, flying with it? Yeah, so the, with the flyover, uh, right now we're expecting uh, three aircraft. Uh, the, the B-1 bomber, of course, is uh, you know a, the big highlight, yes. uh, but it's going to be flanked on either side by F-22 Raptors, which can get a lot of people really excited those are you know those are stealth fighters those are uh very uh high speed high capability aircraft and so uh, the three of them together will will be coming through and how long does it take it's gonna fly over uh Coral or we, Coral. we don't know uh <laughs> we hope long uh but we don't want to scare anyone either uh so that's why we wanted to be on the radio in in in, in, in all honesty to make sure that people know it's coming um, people remember, I think, the flyover from Independence yeah. Day and then the anniversary. Uh, we wanted to do something similar. And these three planes are some of the newest, some of the most sophisticated, uh, most modern air, uh, aircraft we have in the, uh, in the U.S. military. So they're going to uh, be quite, quite the show. Would there be any, 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 anybody jumping from the plane? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, n not this time. Uh, <laughs> it, it, if somebody's jumping from an F-22, it's usually a bad sign. <laughs> <laughs> but this gentleman, uh, Major C, has jumped out of planes. Uh, he would like to jump out of a plane in, in Palau. He hasn't done it yet, but that doesn't mean it's not coming in the future. So stay uh, okay. tuned. Yeah, so, so usually if I jump out of a plane, it's out of a C-130 or a C-17. And I've done that... Uh, quite a few times and uh, if there is an opportunity uh, for one of the exercises that comes through uh, perhaps next year I definitely will be raising my hand for that he'll jump at it yeah. no <laughs> pun intended <laughs> <laughs> would this be a regular uh, flyover Palau uh, during Veterans Day or uh, some other times I would hope so um, you know it's something we like to do uh, we've done it before in Palau um, but it is a little bit extraordinary, um, and so I can't give you a guarantee. Uh, but it's certainly something, as, as Greg and, and, and Owen have mentioned, um, I as ambassador very much want to strengthen the relationship, of course. Um, and I think an appropriate way to do that is to honor the veterans. And I think people have seen perhaps in the last seven months or so um, that we've done a lot in Palau um, with the military, and, and I think that's appropriate and welcomed here. It also helps the economy, uh, which is important too, particularly at this time. But the Veterans Day events um, are something I'd like to continue each year, yes, um, and pay the appropriate respects to all the veterans here, American and Palauan. Um, what each year will look like, I, I don't know yet. Uh, we'll try to keep it interesting <laughs> and exciting uh, for the people of Palau. So what else is going to be with the parade? Uh? Are there any activities uh, going with the parade, like a band playing or a military pers personnel uh, marching on the street? Yeah. The cat team and the, yeah. uh, we we have the uh, veterans who will be marching the behavioral health. Uh, we also have the uh, cat team who will be doing their own float. And uh, currently, we're speaking to four states uh, to participate. They're actually uh, the states of the. Uh, the Gold Star families. Uh, right now, I'm in the. I will be in the process of uh, talking to PCC to see if I can have them assist us with their music department if they have one mm -hmm. uh, to participate as well. Uh, we're also going to be talking to the cultural affairs, affairs uh, to see if they could assist us with the dancers and uh, and speakers to 
have that entertainment. Yeah, we'd, we'd love to have a band um, and dancers. I've seen uh, how, how talented a number of young Palauans are. I was at the opening of the, uh, our oceans facilities in the new Global Village. Uh, we saw so many wonderful m young men and young women dancing traditional dances here. It would be fantastic if they would be interested and willing uh, to participate. Music is a big part of life in, in Palau and uh, across the world. And, uh, and uh, we will have music at the Veterans Day Ball. Um, if we could get some people interested in marching uh, in the parade, that would be wonderful too. It's funny you mentioned a band. Um, we had hoped to get a band. Uh, it was part of our thinking and planning, uh, but it's difficult with the restrictions because of COVID uh -huh. to bring in a military band. So you asked what may be possible in the future uh, for yeah. Veterans Day, and I have my eye on the military band uh, coming to Palau when we can, um, once, uh, once we uh, have that opportunity to do so. Oh, thank you very much, sir. There are several uh, traditional dancing groups in Palau. If they are uh, interested in uh, participating, uh, do you have any contact numbers that they can uh, call or anybody that they, they can contact? Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, was it your number, uh, Ambassador uh, Luis? I'll uh, be interested in the call. I'll give you the number, and then we can arrange to put them in the. Uh, I sell a number of 778 Any time, uh, any day between now and, and then, I'll call and say, Well, let's one do it. Arrange it. Okay. Uh, do you have any, anything more to say about this uh, Spacer Veterans Day? Well, I'd just like to thank you <laughs> and Plow Rave Radio for, for letting us come on today. Um, it's an honor to be the first ambassador on this radio show, so yeah. thank you again, Mr. Um It's been a pleasure uh, for me, uh, and I know for the team, to be partners uh, with Palau, but partners uh, particularly uh, for November 11th with the Veterans Organization. So we look forward to a, a, a great day and an appropriate uh, way to honor um, those who have served. So thank you again, Mr. Long. Okay, thank you, Ambassador the Governor Norbert. Okay, uh, just to cover up everything else that's been said, I know the, the ticket is kind of expensive, but this is the first time for the veterans uh, to have such uh, an event, and it's the beginning. We're, we want to make it a bigger event that, uh, sometimes uh, next year or following, but this is the first time we plan on this one because the, the suggestion from the, uh, the ambassador and he's a very aggressive ambassador I've ever seen in Palau, ever. <laughs> so, you know, we're looking forward for uh, later events to be more uh, better organized. But right now, we just sort of, because of the COVID-19 and all this uh, just kind of came together uh, at the uh, last minute. So we just want to make it uh, as much as possible uh, better for uh, uh, for us, for all of us in Palau. And I ask all the veterans out there to come and join us for this uh, Veterans Day uh, celebration. And uh, I know the, the ticket is kind of expensive, but know that it is uh, your donations uh, uh, for the veterans to help uh, us get organized and help all the veterans here in, uh, in Palau. Uh, all citizens of U.S. and Palawans uh, who are uh, who have served in the military, and uh, we need to uh, get this one going first. I know it's going to be hot, but it is a formal event. But we're not going to turn you around if you <laughs> really want to participate and you don't have any of those uh, formal uh, dress attire to wear. But we really appreciate uh, you coming and join us, uh, join us for that uh, ball on the PPR. That's uh, from six to town mo amina six ra kabsengay in mo or ten ra sa ida club sa PPR. PPR. Makmalolingita ungil supporter kami, kami 
veterans ng Arbelao. So come and join us, please. We uh, this is just the beginning. Thank you. Thank you mentioned you. about the tickets. Uh, would a couple be eligible for one ticket for one couple or individual? Yeah, it's going to be individual tickets, a hundred bucks a ticket, which is uh, fairly high. We did ask around town and and know that there's a number of fundraisers that take place annually in Palau, and tickets range from uh, even higher than a hundred bucks a mm -hmm. ticket. Um, just for people's awareness, again, we, we mentioned uh, the sacrifice of the Gold Star families. A number of us are sponsoring tickets uh, for the, the Gold Star families so that they do not have to uh, pay. I know also that, um, and I want to thank the OEK. Um, uh, that may surprise some people, but the OEK does an important job, and they've been helping us with the uh, um, ball as well. There's an, at least a couple of members of the OAK who also bought tickets and have sponsored uh, tickets for veterans. So mm. we're doing what we can. Um, and if there are people interested in the community who want to buy a ticket and then buy another one for a veteran so that the veteran doesn't have to pay, of course, we welcome that as well. And a number of people in Palau have already done that in terms mm. of buying tickets and giving some of them uh, to the veterans so that they don't have to pay. And as I said, the embassy, the US embassy, have already bought tickets to sponsor uh, the participation of the Gold Star families at the evening's event so that they don't have to uh, pay either. And it's, it's our small way uh, of thanking people for, for the ultimate uh, sacrifice and for the veterans for their service. Okay, thank you very much, Ambassador. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Lecce <laughs> I tell Next year, sell time a uh, tax uh, yeah, free fund, and so we'll mm. apply for a refund that they get their money back. Among the uh, sell expense are the temporary, and we're going to buy a little bit more. I'll do that like Mama Incorporated uh, Non Profit Organization. Among Segidi, I'm looking at the expense that I am. But during a Surya Beklav, I hope the more civil gases are at the end of the day. The more civil gases are at the end of the day, the more civil gases are at the end of the day. The more civil gases are at the end of the day. The more civil gases are at the end of the day. The more civil gases are at the end of the day. The more civil gases are at the end of the day. The more Kegiman mering a sulim lo sulim lo nengsa tay program mas kung ko parents ay ngayon yung algul radil and sal ng aral military yung mas sulim join at yung veterans day yung aral Melbourne day yung direktong mas silbon maring silkabus ngay. I'll just say one last thing um, because I think it would be remiss if we didn't also acknowledge uh, the number of prominent Palauans who have served uh, in our military um, from all ranks. Uh, and I want to thank them. Um, there are a number of high chiefs here in Palau who have served, and, and I want to acknowledge their service as well, not just to Palau, but also to the United States, um, and thank the uh, high chiefs who have served, and to thank every Palauan, um, man or woman, uh, who has served in the U.S. military. I, as the U.S. ambassador, take very, very seriously the defense and security of Palau, and our veterans have helped ensure that, so um, truly, uh, Mesulong for for that service. <laughs>